After years of delays, Virgin Galactic has finally moved into its new home in the New Mexican desert, the world's first purpose-built commercial spaceport. This is state-owned, built uh, Spaceport America. Virgin Galactic is hoping to send paying customers to the tune of $250,000 to the edge of space from this architectural outpost. It is a re reality that the company hopes to, pu to pull off within the next year. Now, we got an inside look at the spaceport and the mission control before anyone. Virgin Galactic CEO George Whiteside spoke to me about the company's new HQ earlier this week and when he thinks Virgin Galactic can begin turning a profit. Take a listen. It's probably evident in some of the financial projections that we've uh, put out there. We think it's a very profitable business once we start commercial operations. Obviously, this is not something that you can go do very in, in any other places, right? And so there are premiums attached to that. Um, but obviously, our number one focus is on safe operations right from the start. Now, we also spoke about the future of Virgin Galactic's business above and beyond the tourist trips to the edge of space and where whether hypersonic travel could one day become a reality. Here's what he had to say about that. This will be a great place to start uh, that kind of service. But ultimately, of course, we think that the advantage of a winged vehicle is that we'll be able to fly into airports, international airports around the planet. So while that's uh, you know a long-term goal, we think it's a very exciting one, a huge market opportunity, and one that are, we're excited to uh, tackle eventually. Yeah, and just a reminder that Virgin Galactic is in the process of merging with Social Capital, so it is poised to go public and start trading here at the New York Stock Exchange through the SPAC uh, before this year is out. Um, but guys, I did also ask him for any kind of updates on the customer list. He still says it's upwards of 600 people um, that are on that list, but that since their flights to the edge of space earlier this year, they've been absolutely deluged. They've gotten thousands, a few thousand requests uh, to do this, and just a fun little factoid for you. Whitesides, who, who is the CEO of Virgin Galactic, actually started out as one of those customers. Uh, so he himself does have plans to make this trip. Hmm. Any uh, analysts running numbers out there on what happens to the space business in a slowdown or downturn? Because it seems like in the Maslow's hierarchy of needs, space travel, you know, not there at the top. Good question. I mean, obviously, space is taking on a, a much greater importance, and you're seeing more defense dollars allocated to it. That, to to a certain extent, I would say, is uh, you know, is is kind of more secular growth. But on the commercial side, I don't know. I'm going to dig into that one a little bit, John Port.